Trapper, Trapper, y'all want some food? Bella, you better come eat. What's going on, people? Looks like we had a little storm last night. There you go, get you something to eat there, Bella. Trapper, anyway. Of course, you know, if it's rain come and storm come, you know I must have caught pigs. And I did, I caught a couple pigs. Uh-oh, let's, uh, let's dump you a little bit of water out. Feed you a little bit there. Hey, you checking that squirrel out, ain't you? She didn't see the squirrel out there. But anyway, I caught pigs. I don't, but due to the weather and the storm, I don't have the footage for it. I only caught, I think I only got a couple in there. Uh, I've been seeing this couple stragglers come in lately. Anyway, we're just going to go do that. <sighs> Is that all? Oh, no, that's not all. Yesterday, before the storm come in, we had the first high school baseball game of the year. Harlow was first on the mound for this year. So since I don't have the footage of the uh, drop on the trap, we're going to go meet it. While I'm doing that and stopping at the store and doing what I need to do, I'm going to show you some footage of Harlow on the mound last night. And I didn't get all the strikeouts on there. Oh, what a terrible dad. So he, had, he had several more than what I'm about to show. But any which way, he's back on the mound. We're looking for that scholarship uh, in two years. He's a 10th grader. So a couple more years, we're going to be looking for that as long as we keep that arm going. But any which way, I'm headed on. And uh, I'm back from Nashville. If you knew I went to Nashville, you knew I probably got sick. If you don't know, you knew. You know now I got sick so bad that Harlow and them, we just had to load up and come back in the morning. So, uh, or come back Saturday morning instead of staying the whole weekend. But anyway, let's roll. Let's go. Good job. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's go. Let's go. Well, looks like we're going to run into a little more rain. <laughs> Ain't that far for the course, though. But we catching pigs, knocking head, feeding pamphlets. Sunshine or storm. Well, we got a little break, but it feels like it's just gonna start raining again. So, uh, put my light boots on. Man, I thought we got to get just a little break, just enough to get these uh, pigs knocked in the head. Wish I say, but I got a pullover. I can put on and see how. Ah! Oh. Take a little corn sack. Put it in there. Tight right in here. We can load up and go down here and see what we got and uh, hopefully get everything pulled up in here and bring it out of here. That's what we're hoping for. Maybe for the rain. Uh, got that head knocker. Let's roll. I thought it'd take off and I come back, I want to get me a drink. But what I noticed is, look right here. Something happened to my thing. Went up on a curve or something. I had to knock that back in place. I'll tell you what, I tear up anything, Hannah boy. Tear up anything. Ugh. Let it roll. When you see the gate, the head knocking away. Ah. 
<laughs> Gotta be able to get the gate up first though. <laughs> So complicated. So complicated. I've been trying to catch a beaver in this thing. I got one more beaver I know of, and I haven't been able to catch it. <laughs> oh, I was just talking about it. Look at him. Look at him. So I had a beaver set caught there. Y'all seen the beaver video before. I had it set right there. Cleaned all this water out. I caught this beaver. Full catch right there. Full catch. He's on a chain here, so I don't want to get too close because beavers can be a little aggressive. As you can see. Yeah, he's caught good and catch. But anyway, I'm not going to just sit here and just show you a bunch of beaver footage. Uh, let me get him knocked in the head real quick and uh, we'll get him cleaned up and whatnot. But this is the beaver. I've been waiting on this beaver and... Uh, I knew it was one more in here because I've been seeing the sign. So we got another good beaver. If you watched, if you watched the last beaver footage, then you know that uh, uh, that I felt like it was a mating pair. So anyway, we knocked another one down in here. Finally caught it. And uh, anyway, let's get it knocked in the head. I'll be right back with you. Okay, so I, I got that beaver knocked in the head, but I know I know a lot of y'all are probably like, oh my God, the beavers, but I'm a trapper and I gotta trap beavers. In the state of Mississippi, they are nuisance animals. We had to we had to understand that. I know that you see Mike Rowe, he's gone and, and uh, relocated some to the mountains and, of Utah or wherever he went. That's wonderful. In the state of Mississippi, we don't relocate nothing unless we give it to the buzzards, the dogs, or the needy families, come on. So any which way, that's why we do it. We have to do it. Uh, Google, first of all, if you're new to this channel, Google wild hog issues of Mississippi and beaver issues of Mississippi. That'll save you from typing out your feelings and what's not. <laughs> so, anyway, but right now, I'm leaving this beaver right now, and I'm going to go take care of these hogs because I don't like the hogs staying there no longer than they have to alive just in case something was to happen. I don't know. We get them loaded up. We'll come back for the beaver. Ooh. 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 So... Yes, I'm an excited, proud trapper is what I am. That's what I do, and I'm dang good at it. I am. Just happy. Ought <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> oh, to be in a rodeo. <sighs> Clown, anyway. So if you watched the last video, you know the mess that I'm having to go into. I really hate tearing up ground. But man, it just won't stop raining. And it just, the ground is just rotten. I'm gonna take this right hand turn again. It's softer, I mean, it's harder ground because it's got more CRP in it. The problem is, four County come in here and they trim out these power lines. Well, when they did that, this, this area wasn't getting bush hauled. When they did that, they cut a lot of stuff down I'm scared it might pop my tires on my rain. Now you know, if anything can be tore up, I can definitely do it. I really don't want no tore up tires. So I'm making my loop around. This is what I'm doing. Making my loop around the main trail. We're gonna ease up on these hogs here just a second. That's one of them y'all y'all food plots. Y'all better get you some. All right, let's roll on around this corner and see what we got in here. Like I said, you've seen all this before. We caught two more. We see what they look like. A little eating sizes now those will eat really really good uh looks like two little boar hogs but they don't have a whole lot of testosterone in them you know uh as far as the big rank type but 
<coughs> Excuse me. Anyway, until they're kind of young, whatnot. Let me get over here, right? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, stinks. It's rank right here, buddy. It's rank. Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah. So they don't have a whole lot of. They don't have a whole lot of aggression to them. They're young pigs. I don't really know what's going on. It's probably part of that last group that I caught in the video before this one that just didn't get caught. Uh, matter of fact, I'm pretty sure of that. I'm almost like 95% sure of that. And God, it just reaps of hog right now. So when I get this reset, I'm hoping more hogs will come in here. But I haven't seen any in a while. But <coughs> And for you that a lot of you hadn't seen wild hogs, but you need to go and look. Yeah. Go watch the other videos. Okay, now you got a little testosterone in you. All right, well, tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna get everything set up. Get everything set up here in just a second and uh, get these things knocked in the head. Like I said, we got rain. It's 40% and uh, it looks like 100% right here. So uh, this makes 42 pigs taken off the hunting club. And if you're not familiar, if you're new here, on the hunting club, for me to be able to hunt, I have to catch 60. I'm at 42. I got to catch 60 by September. I'm at 42 right now. So uh, we're doing good. But I would really like for you to go back and watch the, the largest group I caught, the 30. You go back a couple videos and watch that. It's a really awesome video shot by David McElwain, a buddy of mine, filmed it all. So I'm just long arming it. <laughs> but David McElwain has done a great job on some of the videos that we've done. So anyway, and y'all check him out at David McElwain on his YouTube. Anyway. Let's roll. really poor now but look at this hole right here look at all this they have been wallering 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 you can't i don't you can't even get the concept of how big that is but anyway it's starting to rain like always but I, i'm used to it now at least it ain't cold it's gonna be in the 60s today and uh i don't know this is what it is man make the best of it Dude's drug out of here. Actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag these things. 
over here to this water hose. I want to wash them off. Thing is, I always got to make sure that they're uh, YouTube appropriate, you know? Because I really want to show you more of the hogs, and I don't understand. People always ask me, why can't you show the shooting? Why can't you show the blood? Man, I don't make the rules. I just got to follow them. So I'm going to go right here. Go right here. I'm going to wash them off a little bit. Now, you can see where the hogs have been rooting. Look at that, this is the shooting range. Every little hump you see in the lane there is, is where we shoot. Might be 100 yards, 200 yards. And then that's 300, I believe. Anyway, I'm gonna wash these dudes off, get their nostrils washed off a little bit. And uh, that way we can show the hogs a little bit more. You know what I mean? Well, as you can see, I broke my tailgate the other day. Uh, the cables broke on this thing in, the, in one of the last videos, so. Uh, I almost made it without tearing up something. up here to the beaver. Hope it don't rain any harder. Started raining good now. Oh. Good beaver there. That's a good beaver. I'm caught. Kind of hung up in this old stuff right here. Oh. Too. <laughs> Trying to get him cleaned up a little bit. Go ahead, shot him. Ugh. 
That's a good one there, boys. That's a good one. Woo. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a good heavy one. Oh, I'm trying to get up here. Oh. Man. Man. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can get this trap out of my foot. That kind of thing is hard to get off. So the other day, I come in here, and if you watched on my stories on YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, whatever, uh, I had busted this beaver dam out. I got the water flowing like it's supposed to. I knew I had one more beaver because I could see a, I was dumping, I was kicking caster mounds off the peninsula over there. So what they did is, whew, let me get out. This beaver come in on the backside. The water got down, started making a little feed pile. Was going to stop it up from this end, slow the water down. What it did is it come up there, so I reset that beaver trap right there in the front of that culvert. I mean, I reset it right down in there, kind of where that grass is. Reset that trap. That beaver swam in there, got caught on that back leg. And man, we got beavers <sighs> and boars. <laughs> what I do? They come in here to dam this up. I'm trying to get all my boots. They come in here to dam all this up. So basically, I'm trying to keep me my feet. Now I'll just put this right on in here. Let's see. I want to get a little bit. I want that back foot catch. I only got one more day here before I leave town, so. Whew. 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 We'll see if it's another one, but I'm also gonna show you about the caster mount sets over there and kind of show you how I know if there's another beaver or not. So that's reset. That's how we just caught that one. And uh, well, ah. let's keep moving guys. Let's keep moving. You can see those are nice sized hogs and you can see that's a nice tail. Uh, it looks more fresh. So she might have bit herself, I guess. I would think. But anyway. Ah, big old dudes. Whew. It's all right. So I already got a fella. I've already made a phone call. I got a fella that wants the hogs and the beaver. So uh, that's good. Nothing goes to waste here. But like I said, again, I'm a hired trapper. I am a nuisance trapper. Pigs are nuisance beaver or nuisance in mississippi so go back and watch the video of the beaver trapping if you need to know more stuff but anyway ugh, hammered down well, let's get out of here all right so the other day before i went to nashville and got ended up getting sick i had some beaver traps set on this levee those are peninsula i like to call this a peninsula it's, it's basically a peninsula you gotta look so that's a caster mound set that's a caster mound set that's a caster mound set what it is is they push up mud and grass up on the bank and then they secrete in it or whatever uh let me do this real quick because it's, it's got to be educational for people to understand the, the, the people that you know so they secrete let me see. so they secrete right there that's like an oil sack whatever they secrete that out now he probably push all this out because he got caught in a trap but they secrete that from that, those glands, those castor glands, those oil sac glands, they secrete it inside of that. So when they secrete it inside of that, this is their territory. It's like a dog marking your tire. You know what I'm saying? So basically what I did is I had a long chain here and I had a set down in the water. Now you can't see it in there, but it's the same kind of set that I caught that beaver on, right? He actually missed it and come past it. What it is, is what I'll do is I'll take, let's see if I can get this out a little bit. No, it ain't gonna let me. All right, so I'll take this, and just kick all that back in the water. Get out of here. I run this town. And what he'll do is he'll try to come back up here and see his stuff's gone. He'll try to redo it. Well, 
now that I've kicked it out of there, if there's another beaver here marking territory, he's going to come up here and he's going to mark it. And I'll know if there's another beaver because they've been marking and marking and marking every time I kick it out. i just been missing the beaver. Now, I did have a drowning set here, but I tripped it. I tripped it before I went to Nashville. And uh, so, I don't, so you don't catch nothing while you're out of town, you know. Even though a lot of people think trapping is cruel, well, I can't help you, you know. But uh, I don't try to be cruel like leave them in a trap. I check every morning. And uh, so I'm here every morning to do my job. So any which way, he got used to that drowning rod because I dropped the level of the water when I, when I busted out the dam. Y'all remember if y'all saw the stories and Instagram and Facebook, whatever. So now, if they come back in here tonight and mark and don't get caught in this one or that one, uh, then I know I still got another beaver. If they don't mark, we'll give it some time and see what's up. But I think it's a mating pair. I just I just honestly believe it was just a mating pair. But I'm wrong in life a whole lot. <laughs> I try to run this page on facts and not feelings. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to go take these and give them to somebody. And uh, we'll see you. At the next spot, we gotta get them. Well, I guess the next spot be at the truck where I gotta unload them. <laughs> Somebody said you shouldn't laugh at killing animals. You just laugh in general, man. God. God. Y'all know I had to tear up something, right? Has <laughs> it become part of the show to just break something? <sighs> I break the tailgate last week. And then this time, by showing y'all the beaver, I forgot to close the tailgate. This fell out and I run over it. <laughs> it's almost comical at this point. It's almost comical. <sighs> when people ask me, you should start a GoFundMe for all the stuff you tear up. I tell them people go to yachtyacht.com and you can donate to the carnage. <laughs> <laughs> to the destruction. And I ain't even talking about the animals. <laughs> but, oh, man. I almost had it. Mm, mm, mm. Right there. Right there. It's gonna be a great day. Where's David McElwain when you need him? He was filming this wouldn't happen. <laughs> it's all your fault, David. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm laughing again, people. Oh, da, 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 da. I mean, I know that this is, I'm just trying to, I'm just, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> just for fuzzy wuzzies. <sighs> well, as y'all know, Ooh, I'm gonna uh, these boars. I guess y'all know if you read the headline. This, I guess this is the beavers, boars, and baseball. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> well, we got them dropped off right here in the driveway. Man, that's a big old beaver. You got to think now. Those are some good sized hogs and them beavers. I mean, that's a good sized beaver now. You got to think how big them hogs are. And uh, anyway. So now I'm headed on to, uh, actually I'm going to edit the videos that you should have already seen by the time you've seen this video, if that makes any sense. So uh, anyways, we headed on, feed more families and uh, doing what we do. But we'll check in later. We might end this video. We might not. Might be tomorrow. Might be in five minutes. Who knows? Thank you for watching. Water's still flowing. Chain's not tight. Yeah, here it is. So you can see, trap still there. Pull it up there. I'm not gonna trap anymore, baby, because I'm headed to North Carolina to speak. And I won't be back till Sunday. I think today is Wednesday. Yeah, trash day. So anyway, we're just gonna go do check some things on the club. Enjoy the life that God has given me at this point in time. I'm really enjoying it.
What's going on? We are back in town. I done been to North Carolina and back since the last time that you saw me getting in a truck dropping off beavers and boar hogs. Uh, I didn't catch nothing between that time. And uh, anyway, I'm back in town. It's Sunday. Done been to church and uh, got my new camo shirt on. <laughs> but anyway, I reset some uh, beaver traps over there on the peninsula and one back at the culvert. Oh, that being the reason being is that I come over here with my ranger was parked and there was actually a beaver caster mound right there. I can't remember if I missed it or what, but either way, the beaver's coming up to my ranger if, if it's a new one. But anyway, I set a cage trap. Not that I think that I'm going to catch that beaver in a cage trap. It's just I had to set them here because I'm taking my ranger with me to go take another, get another battery tomorrow on another camera in another place. So I had some coon traps there that we're fishing to get started with. So that being said, we got us, you can see right there, we got us uh, some Duke DP traps, dog proof traps. We're gonna be catching raccoons, possums, skunks, anything that's a nest predator to the wild turkey or the quail population. Anything that nests, that's what we're doing. We're going after them and, uh, and we're going after them hard. So you'll probably see some episodes of that of, of catching raccoons and I got people uh, wanting the meat. So the fur is not worth anything here, but state of Mississippi, we can sell uh, the raccoon meat with a trapper's license. So I'm not selling, I'm just giving it to some people that want some, because I hope to, to wear them out on this piece of property. Now, that being said, if you're not into that, it's okay, you don't have to watch it, but I'm a trapper and I'm gonna trap. <laughs> so any which way, oh, what a blessed day the Lord has made. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Y'all keep liking, subscribing. Go to y'allyall.com. Help my brother out. So any which way, y'all have a good one. God bless. And as always, Jesus loves you. Oh.